Hey class, how's it going? All right, example two of our pulse transmission little worksheet here. So again, just for a few, so this time we're going to be having our more dense first, our less dense seconds. Again, we, they, the actual wave travels four units per second here, only two units per second here. That's just because wave travels slower in more dense things. And so then it's going to ask basically show this wave seven seconds later. So again, the first thing that you're going to want to do is figure out like how many seconds it took to get to right here. So let's try our count of boxes. One, two, three, four. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So ten boxes to here, which means because this is traveling at two boxes per second, it took five seconds to get here. So five seconds it took to get here. So there's two seconds left on this side, as well as the other side, two seconds left on this side. So Let's talk about just the transmitted wave, okay? The one that actually made it through the medium. So, because there's two seconds left, again, this is the less dense area, so it's gonna move at four units per second because it's faster than over here. So let's count our four boxes per second for two seconds, that's eight. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is kind of where the front edge of our crest is going to be. Let's now talk about the actual little science behind our waves here. What happens when a wave goes through, like from more dense to a less dense? Well, the amplitude gets bigger, the wavelengths get bigger. Obviously, we got faster, that's why it's moving faster there. But yeah, amplitude gets bigger, wavelengths get bigger. So as long as it's bigger than this, I'm fine, okay? It can be a three, again, I just double it to make it easier. Um, but as long as it's bigger than this, I'm gonna give you all the points. So basically, I'm just gonna go right from the top and I'm just gonna make one big massive wave here. And it is moving in I can look at this direction. Okay, so that is our transmitted wave. From more to less, you have more energy, more amplitude, more wavelength. We are then going to have a little reflected wave, okay? Uh, and it is going to be smaller than this. So when you go from a more dense to a less dense, because it starts off in more dense, this is kind of able to move a little, okay? Kind of like a free end. So we showed in the last video that went from less dense to more dense. It was like a fixed end in the middle because it was hard for the less dense to move more dense. Well, because it's starting the more dense, it is actually able to move this, and which that, that means it basically kind of becomes a free end. So that little reflected part of the wave stays on the same side, okay? It does not phase shift, it stays on the same side. And so let's see, again, it's gonna still move only two units per second for two seconds. So kind of four squares, one, two, three, four. So here is kind of where we're looking. But again, because most, of the energy, because most of the energy transmitted through, okay, there's only a small little piece that got reflected. So we just kind of have a small little one. We still have the same wavelength. So I think it's still one, two, three, four boxes basically. So we still have the same wavelength. The wavelength won't change when it comes back. But the amplitude, the energy will definitely change, okay? And that's coming back this way. So this will be your correct answer for the last one here. More dense to less dense. Hopefully this makes sense. Uh, you guys can always ask me questions throughout and I can go over this. Um, but yeah, that's example two for our transmission uh, worksheet. Thanks class, I will get us off here, awesome.